Hello everyone, my name is Kenzie Savar. I am the Director of Marketing and Guest Experience for Charwells at the University of Arkansas, also known as Food on the Hill. And I, welcome to the U of A, welcome to mm-hmm. Campus Dining. I'm gonna pass it over to Henry to introduce himself. Yeah. Hey all, my name is Henry. I'm going to be the cameraman for today, um, and I'll be monitoring the chat, so if you have any questions for Kinsey, I'll be sure to ask, uh, ask for them. So Kinsey, what's up first on the agenda? Let's get started, right? So um, we are in one location today. This is 1021 Food Hall. If you weren't able to join us this year for orientation, no sweat. This is what we're going to walk through today. So, um, And you'll see plenty of it when you get here. So right up at the front, we've got our registers. You're just gonna swipe right in and our cashier is gonna give you a ticket. That ticket is redeemable for a meal in here, um, as well as three freebie stations, which I'll explain a little bit more as we walk around. Gotcha. But first up, I wanted to show you a beautiful campus map of, <laughs> of all the places to eat on campus. So we are right here. As you can see, we've got some new additions downstairs. Um, which we're really excited for. So if you hear anybody moving around or hear anything quite loud, it's because we are working very diligently to get you guys served starting next week. So your meal plans start August 11th, and these are all the places you can use them. So Mm -hmm. lots of options out there. Gotcha. We'll go ahead and get started with some of the, um, you know, 1021 specific locations. So like Mm -hmm. I said, you swipe in, you get a meal ticket, and then you get three freebie stations. So um, these, these stations just come automatically when you're in this building. So we've got our pantry, which does like toast and bagels and cereal and then hand fruit, like apples and oranges and bananas. Um, also, this is where the coffee is. So, you know, I'm here every day. Most, most important station. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we've got an awesome dining area, plenty of room for you and your friends. Um, so great view too. The mm-hmm. other side is even prettier, I think. <laughs> And then we are hiring, so if you want to join our team, check us out. Um, We've got plenty of opportunities on campus, whether you want to be a barista, you know, want to have your hands in some food, or just be a cashier. We've got opportunities. We've got flexible schedules. You get a free pair of non-slip shoes, which is great because they're super ugly and you're not going to buy them (laughs) yourself. Um, That is a business venture for one of you out there. And then um, you also get starting pay at $12 an hour. Lots of benefits, flexible schedules, scholarship opportunities. So check us out. Gotcha. First up within 1021. So we've got nine locations, like I said. This is Debbie's. So actually named after a long-term supervisor. She opened Bruff, formerly known as Bruff, now it's 1021. She mm-hmm. opened that location for 14 plus years. She's an amazing associate for us. So it only felt right to name the breakfast option after her. So mm-hmm. from up until 1030, this is your breakfast item. So we've got SEC, SEC sandwiches, well, um, mm-hmm. breakfast burritos, a few other options. So super great, served with tater tots that are seasoned really well. Mm-hmm. Um, and then at, at 1030, it switches to chicken tenders and fries. So we kind of made this switch this year. So now it is chicken and biscuits. Um, okay. And we're really excited. So if you are into chicken tenders for lunch, this is your place. But before that, um, you can get breakfast items here. Gotcha. Yeah. What's this station over here? So this is Arkenstyle. Mm-hmm. Arkenstyle, it is all barbecue smoked in-house. Mm-hmm. Um, super good stuff, pulled pork. And then it's always pulled pork and then a variation. So it could be like chicken, turkey, all that stuff. So it changes every day, which is nice. Um, we also have seasonal sides. So we'll have like mac and cheese awesome you know coleslaw Mm -hmm. and then you'll have like a seasonal veggie whether that's broccoli or um you know other vegetables i'm not really that sure but Mm -hmm. (laughs) i'm just kidding from the all the things Uh best part about this one is that um everything's made in house in this whole location almost everything's made in house so all of our sauces are made in house and if you're into barbecue i really recommend the alabama white it's kind of like a spin on ranch and it's super good gotcha yeah and then what's over here? We've got root for you, a salad that will have you rooting. Um, <laughs> our lovely team is over here prepping mm-hmm. for Monday. Uh, but basically, again, all of our salads are made in house. We've got a pasta salad, which is really great if you're into that. I love the Southwest salad, it's one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, this is just all salads. It's served with a um, garlic knot, too, so you know, balance. Gal- mm-hmm. Garlic knots, soups, and chips. So you can get all of that within that one meal. And again, so you'll get that ticket when you're ready to commit to get one meal from one of these nine locations you'll actually just put it right in this ballot box so that's how you redeem your meal okay gotcha yeah and there's one of these at every single station cool. another fun thing that we're doing this year 
um, is these utensil holders. I love to call these out because everyone asks where the utensils are. Mm -hmm. um, they're in these sleek guys. You, you need a utensil, you just pull it right out. Mm -hmm. While we're on their way to the next station, we had a question about uh, hours of 1021. Can you talk about when it's open and then also how hours for the yes. restaurants have changed on campus? Of course. So such a great question. So this location is open Monday through Friday, 6.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday, 10.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. So this location does close at 4, um, but that's because we've got so many different additions across campus for meal trade. So over the years, we've just noticed our students aren't staying here for dinner. They're going to Chick-fil-A, they're going to Slim Chickens downstairs, we've got mm. Eureka Pizza, and therefore we've extended all of those hours. So those those meal trade hours actually start at four until 10.30 at most locations. So gotcha. we've got a place to eat for dinner, which is great. Um, some downstairs locations while I'm on the topic, we've mm -hmm. got a few new ones that you can use meal trade at. So we've got our new market. Um, mm -hmm which is just like our, our convenience stores on item, uh, well, on campus, mm -hmm. <laughs> just like Club Red, all the things. So go in there, use your dining dollars, but then we have a new feature there called the grab and roll cooler. So every time you see a grab and roll cooler, know that you can use one of your meal trades there as long as that location's open. So the market's really great. It's open at 7 a.m. till 10 p.m. almost every single day. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, you can go there and get um, a salad, sandwich, wrap, fruit, chip, and a drink, mm -hmm. <laughs> all for one meal swipe, which is great. Um, and then we've also got grab and roll at Fulbright Dining Hall and grab and roll at the Arkansas Union Club Red. So those are three items right there. And then right next to the new market is a brand new Slim Chicken. So if you didn't know, Slim Chicken is national. It's really local to Fayetteville. It originated here. Um, so we're super happy to have them on campus and continue that partnership. Again, it used to be here underneath Founders, but if you're new here, it just know it's right over here, kind of in the Founders area. The cool part about it this year is that it's actually gonna have food lockers. So if you download our mobile ordering Transact app, so Transact mobile ordering, you can actually use um, the lockers as a pickup location. So again, Slim Chickens is a meal trade option. And then we've got some new locations at Founders, um, so if you're living in Founders, you are near all the good food. We've mm. got a new curry concept that adheres to a halal dining um, diet, if you mm -hmm. are, if that applies to you. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's called Curry Corner. So if you love curry, it's going to be a great location for you. Meal mm. trade at night, 4 to 9 p.m. We've got a new sushi vendor called Fujisan. They do a lot of the sushi across Northwest Arkansas at Sam's Clubs. Um, Again, four to nine, which is great. And then my personal favorite restaurant is where the Wild Greens are. Yes. Four to nine p.m. It's yeah. so good. We've got another location at Arkansas Union. That one's just open for lunch, um, but that one's really great. So it is a meal trade option. Um, and again, we've extended all of those hours across campus and at our Union food court, which we haven't even talked about. We'll get there. Yeah. Um, but why are the wild greens are is personally one of my favorites mainly because we actually grow some of the lettuce on campus using a hydroponic freight farm system so super hyper local greens and all the ingredients are super fresh and delicious mm -hmm. awesome yeah all the words thank you uh, for all that that explanation of course and then you didn't know we did switch across campus mm -hmm. um to be from pepsi to coke so if you're cool. a coca-cola person mm -hmm. new hooray this year. yeah yeah, and we do have ice cream here, so that is a huge perk. Mm -hmm. um, this is another one of our freebie stations. So mm -hmm. this is your desserts. You can't smell it, unfortunately, or see it, but I promise it's delicious. <laughs> desserts made fresh daily. Um, this, again, just comes with your meal. You don't need your ticket. You Once you've swiped in here, we know that you're here and you've paid to be here. So mm -hmm. um, this one's a really great, great addition. On Fridays, it is cookie cake Fridays. So... I remember that. I love the cookie cake. It's yes. so good. Oh, yeah. that's your thing. I'm totally here for it. And then we're actually prepping some fruit. So we've got fruit and side salads. Again, another freebie with this. Mm -hmm. um, so fruit cups and then side salads. It's delicious. Gotcha. Yeah. And then we'll go down here. We're going to check out the green table. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Sorry for we lost a little bit of connection in there, but we are back. Um, so um, yeah. one one question that I had for you that I was going to ask while we were inside the the green table, um, could you explain a little bit about dining dollars and meal plans now that works on campus? Absolutely. Yes. So 
Your meal plan actually has three components. We've got meal swipes, meal tray, dining dollars. Quick rundown, swipes are for 1021 food hall. You know, get one meal with three freebie stations and it's served fully to go. And then we've got Pomfret Dining Hall and Fulbright Dining Hall, a fully dining experience. Grab a plate, build your own plate, eat as much or as little as you'd like. And then we've got meal trades. Those are participating restaurants. So restaurants all across campus, basically during specific time frames, you can go there and use one of your 10, 15, or unlimited meals for the week there, which is really great. Um, have no fear, you will not have to memorize which ones are meal trades. When you get here, there's gonna be stickers and information. Scan the QR code, screenshot that graphic, and you'll be set for the semester. Always refresh it during the second semester because we're always adding new places, new times, all the things. Last piece is the dining dollars. Best part, honestly. Um, those are for the whole semester. So what that, that initial price and breakdown, that's for the whole semester. Some people think it's by week. While we wish it was, it is for the whole semester. Perks of those is that they're tax free and locally our food and beverage tax is 12%. They work everywhere, everywhere. If you wanted to pay to get into 1021, Fulbright, Comfort, whatever you can, which is great. Um, but I always kind of like to call them just like your flexibility, you know, it's like if yeah. you want a coffee on campus, you can use them there. Um, if you want snacks, if you want to just like a quick a la carte meal, you would use your dining dollars. Mm -hmm. The best part is they are reloadable. So if you're like me and run out when your freshman year, like in October, mm -hmm. um, you can reload them. So you can do that through your housing portal. If you have any troubles, email housing at uark.edu. Um, but if you do reload them, just keep in mind they don't roll over to the next semester. So whenever you reload them, just make sure you use them up. Yeah. yeah, I know I spend most of mine on, on coffee at Hill Coffee and Starbucks every morning. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So good. I mean, can't blame you. Yeah. Um, which, fun fact, Hill Coffee, all of those pastries and stuff are all made in house. And then their coffee is a local roaster. So it's not for Coffee Co. They're based out of Eureka Springs. So mm -hmm. really high quality coffee, really high quality pastries. They're delicious. My favorite is the blueberry cream cheese Danish. I got that this morning. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. yeah. Good. All right. Perfect what's the timing. station? Oh, I did. We did get one question. Yeah. Can you use chain restaurant gift cards for things like Starbucks and Slim Chickens? Yes. So yes for Starbucks, no for Slim Chickens, but I'd have to check. If you want to message Food on the Hill, I'll get that answer for you, but for sure Starbucks. And the Starbucks is pretty interesting too. So we've got our Transact Global ordering, which works at most of our locations on campus. However, the Starbucks has their own app, right? So you can actually use like your Starbucks rewards and you can mobile order using the Starbucks app on campus. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, what's this station? So this is Tailgate. Um, this is our burger station. Every burger has a story, so it's kind of that twist on like, you know, classic Arkansas tailgate. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so this is obviously a very popular station because everyone loves a good burger. Mm -hmm. um, but we've got all the sauces again made in house. We've got an all fresh, never frozen patty and um, french fries, which you just can't go wrong with. So, yeah, cool. Yeah. This is El Cerdo, um, which means the pig in Spanish. Mm -hmm. um, basically, this is burritos. Really delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, again, made in house all every day. This is definitely one of our most popular locations. So mm -hmm. um, check it out. Super good. We've got everything from beef, chicken tingo, which is my favorite, and potato. So um, and we've got now green chili pork, which is delicious too. I like to add the potato to a few, you mm -hmm. know, potato and chicken. As you can tell by this point, I love potatoes. You know, yeah. French fries, love it all. Mm -hmm. um, but then we also do all of our sauces in the house as well. So this. This burrito comes with chips and queso, and then you can add some sauces as well. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Or well, moving on to the next station, could you talk a little bit about to-go ordering? Yes. So mm -hmm. we kind of mentioned transact mobile ordering, which is really great. Um, and this is great because it is served fully to go. There's only a few places on campus that you really do have to dine in, and that is Comfort Dining Hall and Fulbright Dining Hall. Like I said a little earlier, touched on, um, our new location, Curry Corner and Slim Chickens, will have mobile ordering blockers. We are working on connecting those with your mobile ordering app. So download the app before you get here, and basically you'll order any menu item that you want, which is great, and then you'll choose how to pay um, at the end. So you can pay with your dining dollars, your razor bucks, your credit card, however you want to do it. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. And what's this station? So this is called Herbomore. Um, so it's our vegan and vegetarian station, which is really great. If you notice mm -hmm. that, you know, 
It's really great to be vegan and vegetarian. We've got all kinds of options. Do you want to come on through? Yeah. You're totally fine. <laughs> Start the show. Hey. Shauna, one of our great supervisors here. So if you see her running around, say hello. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, this is vegan vegetarian station. These are pre-made bowls, which is great. You can opt for, some bowls will have like a crema or something on the side. You can opt for that not to be in there, so that way it's vegan. Um, but honestly, really great location. The bowl changes every week. So for example, next week we'll have buttered cauliflower for all of orientation and going into the first day of meal plans, August 11th. Mm -hmm. um, and then it'll stay that way for the week and then the next week it's gonna change. So we've got Mediterranean, we have a burrito bowl with Beyond Meat, which is really delicious. Honestly, one of my favorites. Um, and then just a few other options. We even have a sushi bowl made with heart of palm instead of like sushi, which is oh, delicious. So, I didn't even know about that one. That's know, super cool, right? yeah. It's very, it, our chefs never get bored. You will see that across campus mm -hmm. or they get bored. So they're like, always working to be creative, always working to offer options. So if you ever have a suggestion, please message Food on the Hill. Um, slight plug, shameless plug here, but mm -hmm. Food on the Hill, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, mm -hmm. We also have our website, dineoncampus.com backslash Razorbacks. There's options there to send feedback. So if you ever have any issues or any suggestions you wanna share with our team, um, let us know. We love hearing what you guys like. We love hearing what you didn't like because that's the way we get better and that's the way we make sure that that dining location fits your needs. So please message us. Gotcha. Yeah. So then we've got our passport to pasta. Mm -hmm. Always good. This is my favorite one. Really? Mm -hmm. What yeah. do you like? Do you I always get the ragu oh, pasta. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My yeah. favorite is the chicken alfredo. Mm -hmm. Kind of the basic, but I, I don't even care. It's so yeah. good. So mm -hmm. uh, passport to pasta, take your taste buds for uh, a drive, I mm -hmm. guess. Uh, on an adventure is what a tagline really is. So, mm -hmm. but basically we've got just different pastas here. Super great, served with garlic knots. And then if you want to add a side salad, go back to that side salad station. It's the best way to do it. You know, a little balance, but honestly, mm -hmm. awesome pasta here. Gotcha. And then we've got our last location within here is Loaf and Pickles. Mm -hmm. um, this is basically just a build your own sandwich. So mm -hmm. we've got all the ingredient, ingredients, you're the chef, so we're putting it together. So you get to build your own, own, whoa, I almost said own bread. Oh my gosh, <laughs> am I hungry or what? Be super cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you build your own sandwich. We've got a soup, chips mm -hmm. to go with it. And then again, all those freebie stations for you to enjoy. Um, and again, serve fully to go. So if you're wanting something kind of quick, casual, that, that, uh, mm -hmm. sandwich is great. Yeah. Yeah. And then on right. this side, we've got just a stunning view. Um, this is Humphreys, if mm -hmm. you didn't know. So if you're living in Humphreys, what's up? Yeah. We love Humphreys. <laughs> that's where I, that's where I was living at last year. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. Love it. Um, and we're finishing up some construction right here. So there's going to be just more grass for mm -hmm. you to play like spike ball, whatever you, whatever you're into there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. And then we've actually partnered with a ton of local artists. Mm -hmm. to kind of bring this space alive. So this is Jason Jones. He's all across Fayetteville. Mm -hmm. He's kind of famous for that robot. So if you mm -hmm. see it, it's probably him. Um, and we'll kind of go down the staircase yeah. too. And this art is throughout uh, 1021, right? Yes, yeah, so mm -hmm. it's all over. So definitely check it out. Mm -hmm. Here, we'll go through this way so you mm -hmm. don't Don't have to coordinate with the, the camera oh, and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is my personal favorite. This is a mm -hmm. wall done by Tiger Sasha. Um, he again is another local artist, <laughs> um, and he we actually partnered with Fayetteville's My Favorite Bill, which is where we'll end today. So if you mm -hmm. have any extra questions, let us know. Yeah, it's super cool. Yeah, we wanted it to like mix food with mm -hmm. funk. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this is where people will be exiting yes, from 1021. This is the exit. Yeah, mm -hmm. we started up at the front. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. Awesome. Well, y'all be sure to let us know if you have any questions about uh, dining on campus. Yeah. And um, um, another way to contact us, too, is just dining at york.edu. Quite like housing, housing at york.edu. Mm -hmm. So if you have any questions, email us there. Yeah, well, we wait for questions. Do you have any advice that you'd want to give for um, incoming freshmen, things you wish you knew? Things oh, you, my gosh. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll do one about dining and one about personal. Mm -hmm. So I was a freshman here, too. Um, lived in Maple East, really great area. So mm -hmm. what's up? 
Um, but my my dining thing would say would be learn your meal trade times. If you want Chick Fil A, go at dinner. Mm -hmm. um, so go at dinner. We also do you know breakfast, but also just learn all the places you can eat. Don't go to the same ones every time because truly we have so many options from sushi to curry and all these different places. So check them out. Um, and then my personal my personal advice would just be be yourself. Don't mm -hmm. change. Don't change when you get here. Stay yourself. You're gonna find amazing friends. It might take a minute, but you always just be yourself. You've got mm -hmm. incredible RAs and people all wanting to make sure that this experience is good for you. So really utilize campus resources um, and have fun, be safe, mm -hmm. do all the good things. Enjoy your year here and try to explore Fayetteville as much as possible. You know, you came here to be in Fayetteville, so check out, you know, Crystal Bridges, which I know is in Rogers. Check out Mount Sequoia. Take your friends and really check out the area because it's really cool. We've got awesome vendors here. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you for that great advice. Oh my gosh, yeah. um, it looks like we don't have any questions, but could you remind us uh, where people could contact uh, contact you if they had questions? Yes. Oh my goodness. So um, we've got a few avenues. If you're into social media, that's kind of where we can we can you know accommodate there. So Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Food on the Hill underscore AR, but just Food on the Hill, and you'll find us. Mm -hmm. um, dining at York.edu for email, and then our website and app, which I'll touch on really quick. Mm -hmm. um, Dineoncampus.com back slash Razor Backs. There's a feedback portion on there, so you can always reach out to us there. And then the app actually is something I would definitely install before you get here as a freshman. I guess my um, impromptu advice too would be download that app. It shows all of our campus hours, shows you a campus map. It shows events, menus, nutritional information. So if you have a dietary need or restriction, um, it's a really great resource. So definitely check it out. Awesome. Yes. Well, thank you so much for giving us the tour and answering all our questions and you can sign us out. Sweet. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much. Have a great day. We can't wait for you guys to be here. Thank you.